I am Praveen Sunavne. You are watching India's most reliable and relevant educational channel where you get best in class study material and video lectures. Do check the links in the description box. Today's video is very important because in this video, I am going to tell you how to calculate the best of five. Once your result is declared, once your result is out, you are going to seek admission in one of the colleges of your choice. And that college will give you admission on the basis of best of five. So this pattern of best of five is very important for you. And you must know how to calculate best of five. So here I have brought a video which will be very informative. So I will suggest all of you to please watch this video till the end. This video will not only provide you correct, authenticate, relevant information, but this video will also protect you from all the misconception, all the misinformation which is there among the students about best of five. Students ask me, sir, I have written 10 different papers for 10 different subjects. So out of those 10 subjects, will my best five will be calculated? Answer is no, because some of those subjects are clubbed together. Their combined mark will be calculated. We will take one example where we will assume some marks scored by a student for a better understanding. You were talking about 10 different subjects for which you have written the paper. Number one, English language, then English literature, Hindi, Maths, History, Civics, Geography, Physics, Chemistry, Biology and 10th one. Group 3, Elective Subjects. One of these subjects that is Computer Application, Economic Application, Physical Education, commercial application or any other subject which you might have selected. One of this forms the group three elective subject. These 10 different papers which you have written as your board examination, they form six different subjects and best of five will be calculated from these six different subjects. And mind you, best of five means English plus best four. Yes, I repeat once again, English plus best four. Now let us talk about first two papers. One is English literature and another one is English language. That will be calculated as one subject. So these two papers, English literature and English language will be calculated as one single subject that is English. Later on, we will see how the average of this English language and literature is calculated. Then we have second subject, which is a stand alone subject, which is Hindi. Third subject is social science which is combination of your history civics and geography paper. Next is again a standalone subject which is mathematics followed by science. This is combination of three different papers. Yes, science is equivalent to your physics plus chemistry plus biology average of this three will be taken. How to calculate the average? Yes, we are going to see that. And last comes your elective subject that is group three subject that is also a stand alone subject. Have a look at your screen. Let us say in English language in semester one examination, he has scored 39 out of 40. Then in semester two, he has scored 36 out of 40. And in project work, he has scored 19 out of 20. Total of his marks for English language is 94. Let's move on to English literature. In semester one examination, he has scored 38 out of 40. And in semester two, 37 out of 40. And in project work, he got 20 on 20. So total is 95 out of 100. 
this english language and literature will be combined and taken as a single subject and marks for english will be 94 plus 95 divided by 2 which comes to 94.5 that means he has scored 95 out of 100 in english let us move on to next subject that is hindi which is a stand alone subject and we will assume that a student have scored 38 marks out of 40 in semester 1 and in semester 2 he has scored 36 marks and in project work teacher has given him 20 on 20 so his total for hindi is 94 and this 94 is the final marks for hindi moving on to next subject that is social sciences like english language and english literature here for social sciences average of history civics and geography will be taken let's take the example in semester one this student has scored 39 out of 40 in history and civics paper and in semester 2 37 project work he has scored full 20 marks his total for history and civics is 96 we will come back to this 96 marks later on as of now in geography a student has scored 40 on 40 in sem 1 and in sem 2 38 out of 40 project work again 20 on 20 his total for geography is 98 so average of 98 final marks in geography and 96 final marks scored in history so 96 plus 98 divided by 2 that means a student have scored 97 out of 100 in social sciences is it clear if you have any doubt please write your doubt in the comment box coming on to subject number four mathematics which is a stand alone subject in semester one we will say that a student have scored 40 on 40 and in semester two 38 on 40 project work teacher has given him full 20 marks his total is 98 and this 98 is the final score for mathematics right let's move on to next subject which is science this science is comprised of three subjects three papers which you have written one is physics other one is chemistry and third one is biology again let us assume a situation ki a student have scored 32 out of 40 in physics yeah we remember what has happened in semester one examination so i have considered a low score over here that is 32 out of 40 then in semester 2 37 and project work teacher was very kind to give 20 on 20 his final marks for physics is 89 we are going to come back to this 89 marks later on when we take an average for science then chemistry first semester 38 out of 40 second semester 39 out of 40 and in project work 19 marks total final marks for chemistry is 96 similarly biology 40 on 40 in same one 40 on 40 in same two and project work full 20 marks an idle situation this is just an assumption hope so all of you get same marks like this so total for biology is 100 marks marks that are imaginary student score in science will be average of final marks scored in physics chemistry and biology that is 89 plus 96 plus 100 upon 3 which will be equal to 95 yes it is possible to score 95 out of 100 in science in spite of a debacle in your physics paper now please pay attention here 
मोस्ट ऑफ दी स्टूडेंट डोंट नो दिस और दे आर कन्फ्यूज अबाउट दिस लास्ट सब्जेक्ट दैट इज ग्रुप थ्री इलेक्टिव सब्जेक्ट वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दी एग्जाम्पल हैव अ लुक एट यूर स्क्रीन लेट एस एज्यूम दैट अ स्टूडेंट हैव स्कोर फोर्टी एट आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी इन सेमिस्टर वन एंड फोर्टी नाइन आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी इन सेमिस्टर टू सो हंड्रेड मार्क्स पेपर इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ थियरी पेपर प्रोजेक्ट वर्क विल बी अनदर हंड्रेड मार्क्स लेट एस से दैट स्कूल वॉज वेरी काइंड टू गिव हंड्रेड ऑन हंड्रेड इन द प्रोजेक्ट वर्क नाव फाइनल स्कोर फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट will be 48 out of 50 which was scored in semester 1 plus 49 out of 50 which was scored in semester 2 48 plus 49 plus 100 marks which your school has given you in your project work and this 3 divided by 2 yes 48 plus 49 plus 100 divided by 2 which is equal to 99 yes then you score 99 out of 100 in your last subject that is group 3 elective on your screen now you have marks of six different subjects scored by a student we have to select best five out of this six but remember best five means english plus best four yes english is compulsory in the calculation of best of five so english plus best four we can see over here that the least marks scored by a student is in hindi which is 94 so that will be left out and english plus the other four subjects will be taken or considered for calculation of the marks here we see that total marks in five subjects is 484 college admission is on this score that is 484 if cut off list of the college is 484 or less than 484 then you are definitely in your college of your choice if you want to calculate your percentage then you have to use this formula marks obtained upon total marks multiplied by 100 as in this case 484 upon 500 multiply by 100 so this student hypothetical student have scored 96.8% i pray to god that you all score more than this i hope i have cleared all the doubts regarding best of 5 through this video please like this video and also share this video with your friends so they get an idea of how to calculate best of 5 how it works also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button and stay connected because in future i will be bringing more videos like this see you all in my next video till then bye